a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Cynthia Nixon Cynthia Ellen Nixon is an American actress, activist, and gubernatorial candidate in the state of New York. She is known for her portrayal of Miranda Hobbs in the HBO series Sex and the City, for which she won the 2004 Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series. She reprised the role in the film Sex and the City and Sex and the City 2. Other film credits include Amadeus, James White, and playing Emily Dickinson in A Quiet Passion. Nixon made her Broadway debut in the 1980 revival of The Philadelphia Story. Other Broadway credits include The Real Thing, Hurley Burley, Indiscretions, The Women, and Wit. She won the 2006 Tony Award for Best Actress in a Play for Rabbit Hole, the 2008 Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Guest Actress in a Drama Series for Law and Order, Special Victims Unit, the 2009 Grammy Award for Best Spoken Word Album, for An Inconvenient Truth, and the 2017 Tony Award for Best Featured Actress in a Play for the Little Foxes. Her other television roles include playing political figures Eleanor Roosevelt in Warm Springs, Michelle Davis in Too Big to Fail, and playing Nancy Reagan in the 2016 television film Killing Reagan. Nixon initially became an actress in order to save money to support herself through college at Barnard College. On March 19, 2018, she announced her campaign for governor of New York. Early life and education Nixon was born in Manhattan, the only child of Anne Elizabeth, originally from Chicago, and Walter E. Nixon Jr., a radio journalist from Texas. She is of English and German descent. Nixon's parents divorced when she was six years old. She graduated from Hunter College High School and attended Barnard College of Columbia University. Nixon was an actress all through her years at Hunter Middle and High School, often taking time away from school to perform in film and on the stage. Nixon also acted in order to pay her way through college. In the spring of 1986, she studied abroad with Semester at Sea. She has no family ties or relations with the late 37th U.S. President Richard M. Nixon. Early career Nixon's first on-screen appearance was as an imposter on To Tell the Truth, where her mother worked. She began acting, at age 12 as the object of a wealthy schoolmate's crush in The Seven Wishes of a Rich Kid, a 1979 ABC after-school special. She made her feature debut co-starring with Christy McNichol and Tatum O'Neill in Little Darlings. She made her Broadway debut as Dinah Lord in a 1980 revival of The Philadelphia Story. Alternating between film, TV and stage, she did projects like the 1982 ABC movie My Body, My Child, The Features Prince of the City and I Am the Cheese, and the 1982 off-Broadway productions of John Guare's Leedy Breeze. In 1984, while a freshman at Barnard College, Nixon made theatrical history by simultaneously appearing in two hit Broadway plays directed by Mike Nichols. These were the real thing where Nixon played the daughter of Jeremy Irons and Christine Bransky, and Hurley Burley, where she played a young woman who encounters sleazy Hollywood executives. The two theaters were just two blocks apart, and Nixon's roles were both short, so she could run from one to the other. On screen, she played the role of Salieris maid slash spy, lol, in Amadeus. In 1985, she appeared alongside Jeff Daniels in Lanford Wilson's Lemon Sky at Second Stage Theater. She landed her first major supporting role in a movie as an intelligent teenager who aids her boyfriend in building a nuclear bomb in Marshall, Brickman's The Manhattan Project. Nixon was part of the cast of the NBC miniseries The Murder of Mary Fagan starring Jack Lemmon and Kevin Spacey, and portrayed the daughter of a presidential candidate in Tanner 88, Robert Haldeman's political satire for HBO. She reprised the role for the 2004 sequel, Tanner on Tanner, 1990s. On stage, Nixon portrayed Juliet in a 1988 New York Shakespeare Festival production of Romeo and Juliet, and acted in the workshop production of Wendy Wasserstein's Pulitzer Prize winning The Heidi Chronicles, playing several characters after it came to Broadway in 1989. 
She was the guest star in the second episode of the long-running NBC television series Law & Order. She played the role of an agoraphobic woman in a February 1993 episode of Murder, she wrote titled, Threshold of Fear. Nixon succeeded Marcia Gay Harden as Harper Pitt in Tony Kushner's Angels in America, received a Tony nomination for her performance in Indiscretions, her sixth Broadway show, and, although she originally lost the part to another actress, eventually took over the role of Lala Levy and the Tony winning The Last Night of Ballyhoo. Nixon was a founding member of the off-Broadway theatrical troupe drama department which included Sarah Jessica Parker, Dylan Baker, John Cameron Mitchell and Billy Crudup among its actors, appearing in the group's productions of Kingdom on Earth, June Moon, and As Bees in Honey Drown, Hope is the Thing with Feathers, and The Country Club. She had supporting roles in Adam's Family Values, Baby's Day Out, Marvin's Room and The Out of Towners. Stardom She raised her profile significantly as one of the four regulars on HBO's successful comedy Sex and the City, as the lawyer Miranda Hobbs. Nixon received three Emmy Award nominations for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series, winning the award in 2004. For the show's final season, the immense popularity of the series led Nixon to enjoy her first leading role in a feature, playing a video artist who falls in love, despite her best efforts to avoid commitment, with a bisexual actor who just happens to be dating a gay man in advice from a caterpillar, as well as starring opposite Scott Bakula in the holiday television movie Papa's Angels. In 2002, she also landed a role in the indie comedy Igby Goes Down and her turn in the theatrical production of Claire Booth Lucy's play The Women was captured for PBS stage on-screen series. Post-Sex and the City, Nixon made a guest appearance on ER in 2005, as a mother who undergoes a tricky procedure to lessen the effects of a debilitating stroke. She followed up with a turn as Eleanor Roosevelt for HBO's Warm Springs, which chronicled Franklin Delano Roosevelt's quest for a miracle cure for his polio. Nixon earned an Emmy nomination as Outstanding Lead Actress in a Miniseries or a Movie for her performance. In December 2005, she appeared in the Fox TV series House in the episode, Deception, as a patient who suffers a seizure. In 2006, she appeared in David Lindsay Abbe's Pulitzer Prize-winning drama Rabbit Hole in a Manhattan Theatre Club production, and won the Tony Award for Best Actress in a Leading Role. In 2008, she revived her role as Miranda Hobbs in the Sex and the City feature film, directed by HBO executive producer Michael Patrick King and co-starring the cast of the original series. Also in 2008, she won an Emmy for her guest appearance in an episode of Law & Order, Special Victims Unit, portraying a woman pretending to have dissociative identity disorder. In 2008, Nixon made a brief uncredited cameo in the comedy Forgetting Sarah Marshall. She appears in the background when Jason Segel's character mimics characters from Sex and the City at a bar. In 2009, Nixon won the Grammy Award for Best Spoken Word Album along with Bo Bridges and Blair Underwood for the album An Inconvenient Truth. 2010s In March 2010, Nixon received the Vito Russo Award at the GLAAD Media Awards. The award is presented to an openly LGBT media professional, who has made a significant difference in promoting equality for the LGBT community. It was announced in June 2010 that Nixon would appear in four episodes of the Showtime series The Big C. Nixon appeared in a Law & Order, Criminal Intent episode based on the problems surrounding the Broadway musical Spider-Man, Turn Off the Dark. Her character is, Amanda Rees the high-strung and larger-than-life director behind a problem-plagued Broadway version of Icarus, loosely modeled after Spider-Man director, Julie Taymor. In 2012, Nixon starred as Professor Vivian Baring in the Broadway debut of Margaret Edson's Pulitzer Prize-winning play Wit. Produced by the Manhattan Theatre Club, the play opened January 26, 2012 at the Samuel J. Friedman Theatre. Nixon received a Tony Award nomination for Best Actress in a Play for this performance. In 2012, Nixon also starred as Petronilla in the TV miniseries of Ken Follett's World Without End broadcast on the Reels channel, alongside Ben Chaplin, Peter Firth, Charlotte Riley, and Miranda Richardson. In 2015, Nixon appeared in two films, which premiered at the 2015 Sundance Film Festival, Stockholm, Pennsylvania, and James White. 
She received critical acclaim for both performances, especially for the latter, which many considered as Oscar-worthy. Nixon played the leading role of reclusive American poet Emily Dickinson in the biographical film A Quiet Passion directed and written by Terence Davis. The film premiered in February 2016 at the 66th Berlin International Film Festival. In May 2016, it was announced that Nixon would play Nancy Reagan in the upcoming television film adaptation of Killing Reagan. Filming began in late May, and the film aired in October 2016. Nixon appeared on Broadway in the revival of The Little Foxes, officially opening on April 19, 2017, at the Samuel J. Friedman Theater. She alternated the roles of Regina and Birdie with Laura Linney, winning her second Tony Award for her performance as Birdie. Political Activism Nixon is a prominent advocate for LGBT rights in the United States, particularly same-sex marriage. She met her future wife at a 2002 gay rights rally and announced her engagement at a rally for New York marriage equality in 2009. In 2013, Nixon was honored with the Artist for Equality Award by Yale University, and in 2018 Nixon was honored with the Visibility Award by the Human Rights Campaign. Nixon is a longtime advocate for public education. She is a spokesperson for New York's Alliance for Quality Education, a public education fairness advocacy organization. Nixon also has a history of advocacy in support of women's health. New York Gubernatorial Election in 2018, it was reported that Nixon was preparing a liberal challenge to the incumbent governor of New York Andrew Cuomo. On March 19, 2018, she announced via Twitter that she was running for governor of New York. On March 26, 2018, she went to the state capitol for a rally with Alliance for Quality Education in Albany, New York State's capital city. Personal Life from 1988 to 2003, Nixon was in a relationship with school teacher Danny Moses. They have two children together, daughter Samantha and son Charles Ezekiel. In 2004, Nixon began dating education activist Christine Marinoni. Nixon and Marinoni became engaged in April 2009 and married in New York City on May 27, 2012, with Nixon wearing a custom-made pale green dress by Carolina Herrera. Marinoni gave birth to a son, Max Ellington, in 2011. Regarding her sexual orientation, Nixon remarked in 2007, I don't really feel I've changed. I'd been with men all my life, and I'd never fallen in love with a woman. But when I did, it didn't seem so strange. I'm just a woman in love with another woman. She identified herself as bisexual in 2012. Nixon has taken a public stand supporting the legalization of same-sex marriage in Washington state, Marinoni's home state, hosting a fundraising event in support of Washington Referendum 74 for that purpose. Nixon and her family attend Congregation Beit Simkatora, an LGBT synagogue. In October 2006, Nixon was diagnosed with breast cancer during routine mammography. She initially decided not to go public with her illness because of the stigma involved, but in April 2008, she announced her battle with the disease in an interview with Good Morning America. Since then, Nixon has become a breast cancer activist. She convinced the head of NBC to wear her breast cancer special in a prime time program and became an ambassador for Susan G. Komen for The Cure. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?